Good morning everybody and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Anna. This morning we are on a lovely, lovely farm about an hour outside Rasalgeima in the mountains and it's called the UAE Flower Farm. Um, so if you're ever in the area, please come and visit. And I chose a story appropriately for the farm. It's called The Tiny Seed and the author and illustrator is Eric Carl. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds fly higher than the others, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall, icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. There he is. Here's all the others. This is the one that drowned. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. So the wind is helping it, but keeping it low. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. There he is. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch but the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it now it is spring after a few months the snow has melted it is really spring birds fly by 
the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full, they start to open, to burst open a little. Now, they're not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It's still there. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and, oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast. But its neighbor, this one, is growing even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud and even a flower. But what's happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It is summer, now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses and now a flower, a flower grows on it. People come from near and far to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they've ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They've never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it's autumn again. The day grows shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder, the flower has almost lost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower once more. The wind shakes the flower and this time the flower's seed pod opens.
out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away in the wind. The end. And that's exactly how the little tiny seed started. His journey was from a flower that survived and opened up its pod of seeds and blew across the land. On this beautiful, beautiful day with all these beautiful flowers behind me, it is special to pick a flower for somebody. But I think it's also really nice to say, I want to take you to a flower farm or I want to take you to see flowers and not only just pick them and break them because we know they cannot grow anymore. Please enjoy your lovely day. Smell the flowers wherever you go and I'll see you next time. Bye.